Welcome back. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got some Black Sabbath um, uh, reactions lined up. Um, actually, just one, but this is a special one because actually I've never heard of this um, vocalist before. So uh, before we get into it, I wanted to um, sh give a shout out to Michael for uh, sponsoring the video, you know, for um, requesting it. And we got Black Sabbath here. And this is uh, When Death Calls. Now, this is a little bit different because I've done some Black Sabbath with Ozzy. I've done some Black Sabbath with uh, Dio. But never with Tony Martin. And I had no idea that he was Black Sabbath vocalist. But f literally, it says that um, his tenor in the band was the second largest um, after Ozzy. So, um his original name is Anthony Philip Halford, um, but it's um, but he he better known as Tony Martin, and it says here Martin was the band's second longest serving vocalist after Ozzy Osbourne, and uh, basically it says here that he was on the band from 1987 to 1991, and then again 93 to 97. Um, so awesome multi instrumentalist. Plays uh, the guitar, bass, drums, violin, keyboards, harmonica, bagpipes, and panpipes. Wow, that's a lot of um, a lot of instruments. So, um, without further ado, um, now I did try to find this on Spotify. It is not on there. So we're gonna listen to the um, YouTube video um, that Michael provided me with. Um, I always try to, you know use spotify for the best sound but i'm sure he provided me with a good video here it says hd perfect let's give it a like here on youtube and without further ado let's get into it now if you're new to the channel please you know if you like the video like and subscribe or um dislike or whatever you know you <laughs> you're free to do whatever you want um but yeah uh we do a lot of reactions here my wife and i to <clears throat> heavy metal, progressive rock, progressive metal, but we got also get into everything we can. All right, well, thank you so much. Um, f this is my introduction, I guess, and uh, let's get on with the video. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy, and let's go. Here it is. Let's put the volume up, and here we go.
Okay, so I'm so sorry for pausing, but Black Sabbath are a little bit notorious for blocking their videos if you don't pause. So I apologize. I hate doing it. Trust me, I don't like to listen to music this way. But I mean, you already know the song. I'll listen to everything laying on my bed, you know, with headphones, you know. <laughs> so don't worry. I'll uh, ingest this the way it's supposed to be. But it's still awesome because the headphones are like... <sighs> so loud it does remind me a lot of dio um in a good way this is a amazing vocalist i mean the range is there the power the passion you can hear the you know the uh just the uh oh my god i can't find the word the intention, exactly. The intention is there. That, you know, metal. Uh, I love that when, when vocalists can really portray that. You know, like Rob Halford. And it's so funny that I, for the first moment when I read that, I was like, is that Rob Halford's brother? But they're not related. But I mean, it's just there, that power, that rah. Even when he does like, when he stops to sing, he does like this, what... Uh, Dio does or James Hetfield. It's very he's a very, very skilled vocalist, this guy. And um very different from Ozzy's Black Sabbath. A little bit closer to Dio's. Um or some say Dio or Dio. I think it's Dio, of course. Dio. No, no, it's Dio. <laughs> um But uh, I think it's closer to Dio, but um but let's see. I just want to... This is... I love how it started very ballady. It's definitely a power ballad. I can't wait to hear the solo by Tony. Um, so let's... Uh, let's continue. Tell me not Fear of the flames
Okay, fun fact. This is amazing, by the way. Uh, I don't know all you Black Sabbath maniacs out there. I'm sure you know, but this solo was actually played by Brian May of Queen. That is insane. I, I've never heard him that aggressive. Um, I mean, we just did a full album, Alexia and I, on Patreon, Queen. And I had I heard some amazing guitar work from Brian May, but this was ridiculous like i mean they gave him of course a cool you know a couple of power chords to work with and he really like he shines man brian may holy holy moly really cool awesome um i love that the guy who has this channel very small channel by the way it's called the national acrobat if you like it subscribe he has some good stuff here. I love that he put a photo of Brian May and put solo Brian May. I would have never, I thought, I would have thought it was Tony. Um, wow, crazy stuff. <laughs> Wow, really, really good. I really, really, I'm happy that um, that Michael, you know, uh, got me into this singer, Tony Martin, because he's into all, he's into a lot of other um, uh, bands that he like, you know. Let's see. Tony Martin. And I, I was like, well, maybe like Jeff Martin from Racer X. Uh, I thought, is it like, is it Jeff? But then, oh, no, it's Tony. So, man, that was awesome. Um, let's see. Well, wow, there's just so many bands on Wikipedia. It doesn't really say. Okay, so Empire. So Black Sabbath, one, two, three, four, five, six albums. No, seven, actually. Seven. Wow. And then solo albums. Really cool. I'm super happy. You know, I, um, I've i never heard of this guy. I don't know. I'm, I, I guess... I did live under a rock for too long, but I loved just how like Brian May was like, I've never heard him play like, you know, like, like really like, I don't know what he was doing, but you know, stuff like that. I'm usually you hear him very like, 
I don't know, like Brian May, but this was more like aggressive, you know, like, um, and the whole riff was really like. I don't know, I didn't memorize it, but cool, man. Like, I don't know, it was just playing really fast and uh, really, really cool. Um, in a Brian May way that is just normally not... I've never heard him like that. So, to, uh, Tony and uh, and Brian completely new. I mean, I've, I've heard Tony uh, and Brian, of course, in Queen, but not in this manner. This is what I like about when when musicians, you know, just guest appear in other bands like Alan Holtzworth like did with um I think it was a track from uh Sack Wild Black Label Society and he just like pfft. and then he did like a solo on um this band they played Highway Star <clears throat> and and instead of the usual Richie Blackmore solo Alan Holtzworth just like galactic you know galactic stuff so um so awesome thank you so much you know uh, michael for getting me into this uh, this is the second the second black sabbath reaction i do for you on the channel so i do appreciate it very much uh got tons of views so thank you so much you know i hope people you know subscribe to the channel they like what we do here we have a lot of fun you know it's a lot, of course, when I'm by myself, it's not as funny. I think I'm not as funny. <laughs> My wife is the funny one. Um, uh, she's just hilarious. So w w look up some videos of her with, with uh, us together. And we have a great old time together. And so thank you so much, Michael. Thank you, everybody else for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.